Welcome to this video. This is what we're going to be making today. Okay, so what you're gonna start to do is drop down a geo node. Dive in, drop down a sphere node. Put the uniform scale to 0.25. And then the rows and the columns to 100. Uh, right click, or, or option, home selected. Connect a mountain node up. Make that visible. Set the amplitude to 0.035. And the element size to 0.1. And then scroll down to animation, animate noise. Drop down a pyro source node. Connect that up. Plus attribute, attribute density. Unmode, volume scatter. And particle separation, 0 0.02. Click D in the viewport, go to geometry and display particles as pixels. Now drop down a volume rasterize attributes, connect that to the pyro source. On this attributes, density. Voxel size 0 0.03. Change the name of it to density. Move it to the left and then Alt or Option and duplicate. Click. Uh, toy tab point velocity. Right before the density attribute. Or well, this one here. Uh, go to coal noise. Tick on add coal noise. Change the name of this density to V. Um, drop down a merge node and combine these two volume rasterize attributes. Then drop down a null node. And then come out to object network. Drop down a dot network. And name it as Pyro. Dive in. Drop a smoke object sparse. Drop a Pyro solver sparse. Connect the smoke object sparse to the first input of the Pyro solver. And then just connect that to the input. Drop a volume source. Connect it to the third input of the Pyro Solver. Uh, on the SOP path, pick the null you created previously. Except Scroll down. Uh, plus operation. Tick on enlarge fields to contain sources. Uh, the source volume and target field name as density. Name the target field as density2. Uh, plus another operation. Source volume as V. And then target field as VEL. Vel. On the smoke object sparse voxel size copy parameter. Come out to object view, go to geo on density voxel size paste relative reference. And do the same for this V volume rasterize paste relative reference. Uh, the same for pyro source, but for particle separation. 
go back onto the dot map on smoke object sparse change the voxel size to 0.03 on the volume source change the score source scale to 2 for the v uh drop a gas turbulence node and connect it to the fourth input of the pyro solver um on the gas turbulence change the scale to 0.5 and the swirl size to 1 go to obj network go to geo just come up here move the sphere a bit to the left drop down a box node and connect it to the sphere drop a transform node and connect it to the box and set uniform scale to 7.5 and this is going to be like the container for the uh, effect rotate 35 degrees on all the axes drop down, any, drop down a poly extrude node and connect the left input to the transform uh, turn wireframe mode on scroll down tick output back set distance to 0.1 then drop down a null after the poly extrude and name it as col as in collision and that will just change the effect of smooth wireframe shaded go back to the poro.net um put down a merge node in front of the porous over sparse and then to the left a static object connect it to the merge node adjust this so left goes to left like that set the sop path to the null we just created the collision and null on the static object tick off display geometry on collisions tab Tick on collision guide. Let me just go out of OBJ and turn that off. Then on uniform dis divisions, change it to 100. Then tick off collision guide. On the smoke object sparse, change it to 0 0.02. Go back to Geo1 and drop down a dop IO node. Uh, delete the foil cache on the dop network pick the pyro node obj slash pyro on presets choose pyro and then on the on the dot net pick smoke object sparse then drop down a null node and name it as vel then go to the mountain drop a null to the right of the mountain and connect it change the name of it to be emitter go back to the obj network drop down another dot net Change the name of it to particles. Dive in. Drop a pop solver. Drop a pop source. Drop a pop object. Pop object into the first input. And then pop source into the third input. On the pop source, sop path pick the emitter null, tick off guide, on the birth tab change constant activation from 1 to 0 and then impulse count to 1, constant buffer rate to 0, uh, impulse count to 1000.
drop down a pop advect boy volumes and connect it to the second input second input of the pop solver uh, connect this to the input that would be a great idea then it should have something like that On the sort path, pick vel, the vel node. Tick off tree as wind. Uh, go to object, go to the poro.net. On the static object and the merge, shift click, control or command C. Go on to particles, uh, control V. Connect the pops over to here and then the merge to there. On the pop object, the physical tab bounce and bounce forward to zero. Drop down a pop collision detect after the pop source on the behavior tab tick on group name set the name as colloid tick off color hits tick on preserve group drop down a pop wind after the pop collision Tick on the group and set as colloid. Set the amplitude to one and the swirl size to 0.25. On pop source, set the impulse count to 10,000. Uh, come out of object, and go to the object network, set this as setup, the name of it. Turn the visibility off on everything. Uh, drop down a geometry node. Name this as render particles. Drop down a dop oil. Set the dop network as the particles. On presets, choose particles. On the dot node, pick the pop object inside of the particles. Drop a null after the foil cache. Drop down a camera. Lock it or play it just to get a good position. I think this is going to be my camera setup on mate on the material network, um, material palette. Um, track that onto there. Double click this. Albedo multiplier zero. Emission. So like a a blue. Drag that onto there. Change the reflection reflectivity to zero. Give it a little test render. So now go on to the out network. Rendering tab. Rendering engine. Micro polygon physically based rendering. Go back on the OBJ network. On the render particles. Render geometry. Point scale. 
point zero five. Go back to the principled shader opacity. Point zero one. Then go to surface and the emission color. I recommend going for like a darker color. And there is your effect. Thank you for watching the video.